Hello and welcome to another cozy little horror video on this channel. Today we'll be playing a teaser that is called uh, The Royal Hellemshire. This is a horror game that's supposed to come out next year. The teaser is maybe going to be one or two hours short and it's sitting on very positive reviews. So what we're going to do is we're going to play through a small area of the game. We're going to check out the mechanics, the monsters, we're going to see what's what. Those of you that want to jump right into the gameplay, I'll put a marker below on the timeline where you can just jump right into the gameplay. You don't have to listen to my blabbering, at least outside of the game. And I'll be seeing you there. Today I'm a little bit lazy. I didn't write any script, uh, but I got a little a little note here with some uh, some stuff on it that uh, that I want to talk about. First, we're approaching uh, 13,000 subs. Thank you very much for everyone subbing. Subbing? Sub, subbing? Thank you for everyone subbing. You are very much appreciated and it's awesome that I can make videos and there's even just one person watching it and enjoying it. Um, second thing is there's going to be a couple of horror games upcoming in early December. Some of them, at least one of them looks very good. It's going to be a Japanese one, but I think it's, uh, it's going to be a very high... Uh, how do you say? Procedure? Pro production value. There we have it. There you have it. The production value. We got the Let's Play of Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare from 2001 coming up as soon as I get the CD. I ordered it on eBay. Um, turns out the game released in 2001 and like I think four or five or maybe six months apart on PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. I only have the PlayStation 1 version, but I decided we're going to play through the PS2 version since they basically released the same year and we're getting a... I mean, the graphics are going to look significantly better. Be better. Better. I hope the game is good. I've never played it and I am quite excited to uh, go skinny dipping into a new old survival horror game. And then, uh, what is this? the dark oh as usual we're going to play it on original hard and software uh, don't forget to vote if you are interested in watching those uh, old survival horror classic let's plays we have vote on this channel where you can always vote for the next one and in this case the one after the next one so go there cast your vote and then you're going to see that in maybe a month or a little bit longer since we have to play through the next one first, obviously. And I also have a new retro game series that's going to come up. I mean, I don't have it. It's going to come up <laughs> in a month or maybe longer as soon as I manage to uh, to set up my Amiga and my 90s PC. I'm looking forward to the new uh, RetroTINK 4K, which will transform the signal into a beautiful picture for uh, me and my viewers. Anyhow, with that being said, it is now time to go into the Royal Hallamshire beyond Hanwell. And we're going to see what the horrors are there. And for that purpose, we do have to uh, jump right in. And we're in. Unfortunately. It's always unfortunate if it's a horror game. The only way out of the hospital is through containment. A friend. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Sprinting into closed doors will kick him open. Okay, cool. flashlight. The flashlight's battery level is indicated by the green lights on its side. Oh, we got the battery level. Nice. We're running out of light. It's one of those games. Yeah, I haven't played any of these. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Wait, can I... Perhaps I should... I had something to pry it off. If I had, no. Uh, accessible, what? Oh, there we go. A fuse, boxes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. storage manifest, okay. Cool. 
To quickly change direction, hold down, the, hold down the direction you want to go, then hold down the sprint button. Really? Oh, and then I sprint without holding the... Okay. Oh, that's... that's uh, they're trying something new. I love when games do that. Maybe, maybe it works out well. Who knows? The basement key. A stone. Oh, we got an inventory here too. It can be thrown. Oh, wow. What a great weapon. How do I... This is confusing. In the inventory, assign items to quick use. Uh, yeah, okay. Quick use. So, one. They get uh, rock on one. Do we need to put the key on too, so we can have three items? Quick equipped. We can quick quick equip three. That's weird. I mean, this is not necessary to have a turn around button if you're on a mouse, right? The workbench is unavailable. Uh, oh, so this game will have crafting once it comes out, which I think, according to the to the Steam page, is going to be 2024. Maybe it's. I think if they're very. Um, What's the word? If they're very what's the word, then uh, it might even take longer to release. <gasps> oh, this is where I came in. We can open this door here, huh? Confirm. Okay, I don't have to equip the key. This game is not a bad looking game. I mean, as usual, we're playing on a maximum graphic minus the motion blur. It's not a bad looking game. There we go. Who needs hands when you have feet? So we're gonna need to find... Why do we still have motion blur? Wait, didn't I turn it off? Disable motion blur. It enabled itself again. Disabled. Welcome to the Royal Hellenshire. This is going to be a a survival horror game once it's out. It's got to have the mechanics, such as healing, weapons, and all that stuff. The director will be here tomorrow morning. Let's not keep him waiting. He's been breathing down my neck since the doctor was killed in Hanwell. Nice, we're going to read some mail. New patients. Mort, we need to be sure we aren't taking on healthy new patients. We barely have enough food for, to feed the sick ones. People are hungry and people are dying. Win a, new, a year's worth of black window home protection. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, theater and containment. Dear all. Usually I like to take hands off approach to all ministry institution affairs. However, recent events cannot be ignored. As of today, I'm mandating that the operating theater containment facilities be moved to the lowest levels of the hospital. Most critical patients are suffering illnesses of anomalous nature. You cannot continue to risk routine patients by trying to keep critical patients comfortable. Surgery may become less comfortable, but it will be safer. Productive citizens are to be given priority always. So is it like uh, citizens? I mean, is it like the whole, the whole place went to hell in a handbasket and not just the hospital where we're in? A glow stick. I always hate those in, in all games. It's like the worst source of light. You just, you light them up and then you just throw them on the floor and then you're just going to leave. 
Or maybe you can bring him with you in this game, who knows. I'm gonna try and use a minimum of light. Feel free to turn the brightness to the maximum while watching this. I need to conserve light. So this is already annoying. If I'm if I'm turning around and sprinting, he's just now I'm just printing pressing the sprint button. This is a confusing mechanic. The anarchy symbol, huh? <clears throat> it's a fun fact. Anarchy is uh, comes from Greek, from the word anarchos, and means without ruler. There is nothing for you here. Oh, okay, okay. Well, if there's nothing there, then we're gonna leave. Yeah. After all, there's nothing there for us. No, we can't open the door. I think we need a, a crowbar or something. Someone in there? I don't like it anymore. Just kidding, I never liked it in here. Administration office. Let's make the game a little bit louder again so that you fall off your chair. Pres proscribe the terrorist organizations. Official correspondence of uh, BMCG since the destruction of Hanwell. We've set a tenfold increase in activity. Oh, we've seen a tenfold increase in activity from its major dysfunctional terror groups in London. And then we got a few of terror groups. The most notable here is ATF. They are strong and numerous and often spliced with anomalous DNA. Oh, that sounds great. Can't wait to meet them. Can't wait to fight those super soldiers while being just a buffoon. That has a rock as a weapon. Replacement request. Uh, replacement type, ward, lobby, key, lost it while on the toilet. She lost the key while on the toilet? I mean, if you know you lost it in there, then there's a very limited amount of places it could be, right? Oh, maybe she doesn't want to, you know, with her hand inside, maybe she could have gotten the glove. Have you not wondered why we are using equipment from the 90s? I put in a request for IT upgrades. You should do the same. Why here in admin do we get this old crap when AC get all their fancy new gear? Maybe this note can be an email next time. And maybe next time I don't have to read it. Another note. Oh, it's the it's the key note. Okay, this one is at least useful. The the whiny note doesn't do us any good. Oh, look, it's uh, are those roots or cable? No, it's cables. Wait, there's another box here, but we can't can't use it. So that door is blocked. There's nothing to do in here. Wait, there's a corner. Oh, okay, this is where I came from. I see. And this is a hospital. Oh, it's the lights. Okay. Ah!
Hmm? No, no, it was nothing. Yeah, yeah. No, I do this randomly. Yeah. I just randomly get heart attacks from, from nothing. Yeah. That's me. The man's toilet. Oh, it's the it's the woman's toilet? No, it's the x-ray. Is he? Did he go into the shafts? Oh, great. They're in the shafts. I'm getting PTSD from uh, that space. ATF. Oh, this is not anarchy. I mean, it's the anarchy symbol if you do a circle around it, but it, it's the whole ATF symbol with a skull. Yeah, the, spl <clears throat> the spliced ones. Is this the to No, this is the men's toilet, right? It was a woman who said it, who wrote it. Where's the woman toilet? Stop with this turning. Oh, no. I hope they, 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 they make it optional to use that mechanic. Hang on. Maybe it is optional. Controls. Turn around and sprint button. That's... <laughs> Doesn't look like it's optional, huh? It looks like we're stuck in the royal Hallamshire. Oh, the woman toilet. Keep your distance. No eye contact. Hide if you can, raise the- oh, anomalous activity. Okay, hide. Don't look at them. We're not gonna raise the alarm, I don't know, it's probably not gonna work. It looks a little bit in disarray, this place. Hide! Where the hell did I go? Energy milk. 25G high protein. I don't think I'm gonna need any protein where I'm going. I hope this thing left. Oh, that's the key. Who has this? <laughs> this giant. This giant cross. On the key. I mean, that makes it so annoying to carry it around. We have two dots left on the flashlight. We don't have any. Oh, we have the rock. Right, we, ha we have the rock. Yeah. You can feel safe. We got the rock. And he doesn't equip it. Why don't you equip it, you idiot? I put it on... On one. If I press one, why doesn't he equip the rock? One and two does nothing. Oh, great. I mean, the controls are funky, but... Oh, maybe we can use this. Oh, no, it opens. I mean, yay, it opens. The Royal Hallamshire. So who is this friend? And were we a patient? I can't get out this way, but all this stuff looks flammable. It's nailed into... Well, I'm not gonna assume it's metal. A gas pipe. <gasps> Excuse you. I can't wait to meet those denizens of the Royal Hallamshire while being equipped with only a rock that I can't use. 
That sounds like such a good idea. This isn't an idea that only I can have. Genius idea. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. So, let's see. Do we have a map? Is it like... Resident Evil or Silent Hill? Where you just... Uh, get a map of the wall? No. I want to make sure I, I don't uh, leave anything behind. I'm basically enacting the No Loot Left Behind Act, which is a very famous act. I always enact it in all horror games that I play. And once you enact it, you'll just automatically get all the loot that you can find. It just jumps into your hands, basically, without you having to do anything. It's a very useful act. Okay, we've been here before. Yeah, these are the notes that we read. Did we come in through here? Oh. No, we didn't go into the other direction of the beeping thing. Pistol ammo. Isn't that great? We got a pistol. I mean, we got ammo, but no pistol. Dan! Oh, they're talking to me! People are getting wise. You're going to need a gun. I tried to email you the safe code, but the system is down again. I had to resort to handwriting it and leaving it in the basement storeroom. Unfortunately, I also had to board up a burner in there. Be careful. Anna. Von vorne wie von hinten. A an an a. It's a German, uh, I think it's a German hip hop song. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. And with pretty, I mean ugly. <laughs> I've been missing playing an actual horror game. I mean, I, I love survival horror games, old style ones, but I also love modern horror games that are actually creepy. So we're gonna go this way now. We know with the key that we found, we can continue in the other direction, but let's explore this area first. And then we're gonna go to the main hall. And see what's, what's what. Oh, a finger. Wait, why doesn't he take it with him? I definitely could use a finger. Information. No, seriously, maybe I need it for, uh, you know, for some to open the door or something. This area is now under the control of the BMCG. All correspondence, responsibility and accountability that would usually be directed to your council should now be directed to your BMCG representative. All anomalous activity should be reported via your usual enforcement representative who will now report directly to the BMCG. Shoopy doopy doopy BMCG and shoopy doopy doopy BMCG. like it here it's always you think it's bad news if a door doesn't open but it's actually good news I don't think we can onboard the boards here huh it doesn't we can only interact with the door which basically means we've explored everything at this point where did I start to can you stop it I started the game over here, right? The Royal Hallamshire. Did I visit this room here? Or was I attracted by the lights and the noises? Skipped it. 
This looks like a room where you could fit in a lot more beds. It's like a room with a lot, with a lot of nothing in it. It's a room about nothing. A battery. Okay, it was already exploring was already worth it. We found the battery. Assault and battery without the assault part. Later we're gonna find the assault and battery without the battery part. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's have a good old look. We should be almost back at the beginning here. Oh, Kung Fu. I can Kung Fu. This has to be the locker. With the gun inside. And we don't know the code. We've been seeing an increase in anomalous activity here recently. I've left the gun in the safe, just in case. Do not write down the code, remember it. You know what? You never told me the code. Uh, 17923. The door closes and gas comes into the room and kills us at the first mistake, and then you can start the game over. Everybody loved the game. So, do we get any uh, documents? <laughs> I didn't want to do this. You <laughs> kick and then pause the game. There we go. Best pause ever. All right, we got to find the code. We found some documents, but they didn't tell us the code. There was something about, uh, I don't remember. It was one of the documents that we found. Don't write down the code. Remember it. It's just four numbers. It's not hard to remember. Maybe on the computer. It's not going to be the date, right? That wouldn't make any sense. I think Anna wrote, she gave us, she gave us a hint somewhere. Oh, I can just open it with a kick. Open with a kick. I can open the boxes with a kick. Oh, okay. Wait, turn the light off. Okay, let's go again through the different rims. Open the box with a kick. There's like at least one more box. Is it, does it like stay on one light where it just flashes? Because to be honest, this is good enough for me. Until we get into really dark places, then I can use the battery. This is actually, this is a very good idea. I like this. If this is a... If the light doesn't go out, stays like this. And I think this is a, a big upgrade to those games where you just have a, a flashlight that goes out and then you're screwed. Big upgrade. Big, big upgrade. So I can just leave it on, yeah. Perfect. The Royal Hallamshire, yeah, the finger. The finger! It's not going to help us, the finger. It's not going to help us with the code. But there must be a reason why we could pick it up. Flashlight empty. Oh, it, it's actually... Okay, so I take it back. It sucks. I take it back. It sucks. We have... How many batteries do we have? We got three batteries. And I already thought the game invented a great mechanic. 
this game for for the lights you know if you want to have batteries all the time but you leave a very weak light if you have no batteries left wow what a good mechanic and then turns out that uh it actually goes out and it's like all the other games wait So I thought maybe the lights would give us the code. This is a five, right? But it's always five. <laughs> this would be a two. The Royal Halam. Gotta read all the notes again. God damn it. I mean, gosh darn it. I got the key. Maybe we'll find the code in the room back there. That could also be in the, the door that we just opened. Maybe we'll find the code there. Doesn't hurt to have one more look. You're going to need a gun. I tried to email you the safe code system. I had to resort to handwriting it and leaving it in the basement store room. Okay, so we have to go there. Okay, there's no point in reading the notes. It's not going to be on a note that we already discovered. All right. No. Oh, we're on the right way here. So we're not supposed to have the gun at this point. We, we might have to sprint back in a hurry. <laughs> uh, I hope the game saves. No, it does nothing. Quit and options. The Royal Halam Shire. Oh, that looks like I really want to go in there. Dark room with a broken door. Um, what is here? Imaging. Imagine all the people. Imaging, imaging. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't open this door. We have to go here. This is the only door we can go. And go we shall. I like how the cables are coming out of the, the ceiling. A. Linwood. C-R-O. It's not the C-E-O. It's the C-R-O. Let's see. Let's check the other doors. Here we got the D, D, D Doctors D Linwood. Is that me, Dan? Doctor Dan is in the house. Yeah. Please remove all your clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little inspection here. <laughs> A witch got out of containment yesterday. We managed to get her back, but there was stuff flying everywhere. Make sure all loose articles are secured and fastened. It shouldn't happen again, but just in case. Anna. Ah, we got so many bullets and no pistol. I love it. I love having no pistol. It makes me all fuzzy and warm inside, being completely unarmed. Kinda love it. New patients. Anna, I understand we shouldn't take on... Oh, wait, these are the same emails as before. 
Let's see, what do we have here? Lab. Why does it have two doors leading into the same room? Patient ID 22954899. Jordan Baker, 29 years old. Older male. Radiologist the Dr. D. Linwood. Skeletal structure. The ribs appear unusually dense with evidence of additional intercostal ossifications. Forming a lattice-like pattern across the chest wall. The clavicles are hypertrophied. I hope you know what I exactly meant there. And display an abnormal curvature. Lung fields. There is an anomalous vascular pattern noted in the lung fields, possibly due to the presence of auxiliary respiratory structures integrated with primary lung tissues. The functionality of these structures remain unclear. The x-ray reveals significant abnormalities in skeletal and potentially visceral structures, which are believed to be a direct consequence of the patient's anomalous DNA sequence. Further multidisciplinary evaluation and genetic studies are warranted to blah, 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 blah. Yeah. More stuff to comprehend more stuff, but we don't have more stuff. We're not doing more stuff. We're not comprehending more stuff. We're comprehending just enough to hopefully make it. Dana and Anne. No, Dan and Anna. <laughs> I didn't say that intentionally. Wrong. <clears throat> Dan and Anna, December December seventh. And she said the, she said the code was on a note in the storeroom. Is that a handprint? Okay, the ossification. There's a door here, and there's no door on that side. But this from far, it looks like a map, but it's just, uh, I guess, some, some shadows from, from stuff that hung there. Another code? I mean, another, another uh, locker? The Ministry rolled out a new anomalous activity notice board. They want at least one in every room. We can expect more of this nonsense now. They're taking over. As if we don't know how to deal with ano <laughs> anomalies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can't even write the word, then maybe you don't know how to deal with it, huh? You can't shake a stick at all those anomal anomalies. Dan, I don't think I need to stress out to you how important it is that nobody enters the kitchen but you, me, Alex, and Mort. We've been running TRH as a family for 10 years. This would end us, so justified or not. I lock the key in the safe. The code is our anniversary. Happy birthday to me. Or to us. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Happy birthday to us. Oh, this is a new room. Someone needs to tell the family of 4219. I'm gonna, already going to have to take screenshots. I mean, remember it with my fabled memory. Poor bastard tried to make on a burner, uh, tried to take on a burner hand to hand. The burner is a monster in that case. Internal hemorrhaging, fractured skull, clotting led to widespread ischemia. So where's the note? They need to, uh, oh, there we go, December 7th. I'm gonna have to write this down, December 7th. So that's the, oh, it's in, in American, where the month comes first for some reason. So it's 12, oh, 1207, is that it? Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to us. 12. Kitchen key. So why does anyone else entering the kitchen end the whole family? 
Is there something, uh... Something bad inside that I really want to... Wait, did I see some movement? No, it can't be. Must be hallucinating. Everybody knows monsters don't exist. <laughs> yeah. Except for here. Now where's the kitchen? Cafe. The cafe? The cafe is not the kitchen. But it could be adjacent to the kitchen. So when you're sprinting, it's hard to control the character, which, you know, I'm fine with since it's, it's uh, realistic, right? You can't just sprint and then sprint like this and then continue sprinting in that direction. A 90 degree turn instantly. Is this the kitchen? The Royal Halam Shire. You're gonna you're gonna be hearing that a few times. I gotta get it into your noggin that we're in the Halam Shire. So this is weird. I mean, this is the cafeteria. The cafeteria. The kitchen should be adjacent, maybe. So we're accessing it from the other side. It's not here. No, it's definitely not here. It's also not here. Yeah, okay, so we actually have to go all the way back. By the way, those weird turns. This is the game. This The turn that you just saw, that's not me doing it, doing it intentionally. It's like sprinting in a direction. This mechanic just flips your head in, to the left and then sprints off. It's not what I actually wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got another one of those weird games. You just keep doing stuff that you don't want. I hope they remove this mechanic before it releases. Alright, we're here and the uh, young administration office. There's a door. Oh, it's a blocked door. Okay, so that's not it. Oh! And everybody was kung fu fighting. I got another first aid. Oh, yeah, I actually... Alt. No, I want to put it on... On alt. There we go, I put the first aid on alt. For all the good it's gonna do me. X-ray. Toilets. I'm completely lost. I don't know where the kitchen is. There's lots of the rims in here. Uh, was there a locked door here? Oh, it's the exit. That yeah, would have been too easy. I think we're supposed to escape this in the end. You escape uh, the the Hallam Shire. That's the place of the hospital. We're not gonna hear that. Na oh. Oh no, this is where I came from, right? I came from here originally. From this weird tunnel. Did I wake up from the bed? I came in from here, huh? This is where we started the game, back here. I 
spawned in this rim. Okay, we gotta we gotta leave here. Fine. Still looking for the kitchen. I'm starting to feel the urge for a refreshing beverage. But I mean, so far, even with what we've just experienced, this definitely looks like a game that uh, I want to play when it comes out. Alright, Office 1, Office 2. What is that? Stop with the turning. Maybe there's a door here. No doors. I, I want to sprint out and then he turns to the right and runs into the table because of the mechanic. You know, the mechanic, it's great. Such a good mechanic. I mean, if, you, if you're making a, a new horror game, then why don't, why don't you just uh, reinvent the wheel? I'm sure people didn't figure out the wheel yet. The awkward sprinting into the wrong direction button. That's what we needed in horror games. So where's the damn kitchen now? I've about had it. What's in here? Oh, it's the entrance hall. Uh, yeah. The gas flow. Oh, I've given reception access to the gas flow pipes by the main entrance. I don't understand why they were built in there in the first place, but people can be trusted to not smoke near the damn thing. If you see any embers, switch off the gas. Be careful around it. The pipes are to be reinforced next month. Right now they are delicate. A stray bullet or even a knock in the wrong place could just bust it wide open. Into the great wide open. A rebel without a cause. We can't turn them on though. Can switch anything here, but we can definitely shoot into them as soon as we got the gun. Uh oh, I'm wasting uh, batteries. Okay, let's see. What is this? It's not the kitchen. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't work. That is the... You can't use the key here, scream. Okay, we, we just got to time travel to the kitchen because I can't find it here. Yeah, instead of running around in the hospital for 10 more minutes while you die out of boredom, we're just going to time travel where we have to be. One, two, and bam! And we're back here. I didn't find any other way to go. Oh, you just you just kick it open, yeah. Okay. We're gonna try and kick everything from now on. Can't believe I ran through the whole hell I'm shire trying to find the way into the kitchen and then you just kick the one door open. 
I mean, it's clearly a fault of the developers, right? I mean, it can't be my fault. I'm just never at fault. Jet Juice Stream Juice. Stream it. No, I don't want to stream it. I just want to make a video. It's more immersive if people aren't blabbering into the into the game all the time. If I'm the only one blabbering. Let's see. Ah, we got uh, mustard. We got ketchup. We got mayonnaise. What is this sauce here? This could be the spicy sauce. The dark red. Oh, this is where I used the key. Alright. What? Look at it. There. Did you see it? Okay. Go inside? <sighs> okay, if I have to. Nothing good is gonna happen in here. You know that, right? Oh, the crowbar. Using weapons cause them to wear. Keep an eye on your weapon. If it starts to look extremely bloody and rusted, it might be time to find a new one or it may break when you need it the most. Picking up a new weapon will drop the old one. Shh. I'm looking at things, okay? Please, no, uh, no monster noises. For, I forbid you the monster noises. There we go. I forbade it. Now they can't do it anymore. Yeah, it was right out there. So we got a couple of uh, boards that we can break through. And don't mind if I go this way here. Instead of the other way. <sighs> don't mind if I go this way. No, this is a barricade that it's not blocked by, by boards. All right, let's see. Where do we have some? Uh, I don't think. No, I think in here. We don't need to remove any boards. We do need to remove uh, the monster's face, though, if it comes too close. I wonder, why do we get this rock here, huh? A rock that we can't switch to. And, uh, oh, oh, you don't equip the weapons in, in those slots, I guess. Let's equip both med packs. On one and two, no, let's equip one and two med packs and the rock on an alt. Wait, the rock is gone. Where's, where did the rock go? <laughs> what? Did I lose it? I, I, what? Oh, yeah. No, I get it. Yeah, it's my fault for switching items in the inventory. Yeah, that's not a thing you should do in games. Yeah, you should never do that. Because then things disappear and it's your fault. That is a no-brainer if I've ever seen one. gonna have to go back into this part hello is there anyone in the shaft hello anyone here I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if nobody answers, they're safe. It would be just impolite to not answer. 
And you know how it is. They want to tear your face off, but they don't want to do it impolitely. So if you just call out, you can use this in real life as well. If you've got somebody stalking you, wants to kill you, then you could just call out and then have to tell you where they are. And then you just go into the opposite direction and problem solved. Yeah. And you're welcome. You're very welcome to use this if you're in a life or death situation. Just make use of my tips and strategies and you will be right as rain again. Right as blood rain. <laughs> Time attacks just right to execute power attacks. Try left, right, le what? Try left, right, left with a half second pass. Block by holding down left, right attack at the same time. Ugh. You're telling me this because Ugh. left attack. They say left attack, but you have to click the right mouse button. Pardon me, that is not left. That's the other left. I'm gonna go in here now. Oh, there was a monster in here, right? Okay. Rise and shine, sugar buns. Rise and shine, indeed. The left through the shafts. Great. But they can be anywhere. Oh, a Molotov. A moly moly. Pardon you. I'm gonna go back and check this door out before we burn down the barricade. This is where they told us about the attacks. This corner here, so... I'm expecting the worst. Right attack. Oh, this is, okay, this is the room where we, oh, I could have just taken the shortcut. Oh, no. Because that was a great feeling. You open the door, and the room is completely black. You can't see anything. And you're standing right in front of the darkness. Alright, I don't know how it works in this game if we're making, like, noise when we're running and if those, pe uh, those people, those creatures are actually spawned and somewhere in the rooms and if they hear us, they stalk us or if it, everything is scripted or... It's always exciting when you play a new horror game and you don't know the mechanics. If you finished it and then play it a second time, it's... Some of them, like most of them maybe, are completely different to play through. Oh, you can open this too with a kick. It started with a kick. Now we got another stupid little light glow stick. There we go. They called glow stick before because first they glow and then you stick them. <laughs> you stick them where the sun don't shine. <laughs> uh. Okay, we got the Molotov. Let's see. Let's put the Molotov on the Alt button because we really need an Alt button. Oh, he throws it right away. I can't get out this way, but all this stuff looks flammable. <laughs> and I just wasted a Molotov, but apparently, you know, apparently Molotovs aren't, uh, yeah, they don't cause any fires. 
yeah, now you learned something, yeah. I learned something too, I didn't know that. So, they're just a combat weapon? Boy, am I glad I wasted it now. It makes me feel really good. I go in there and I find the Molotov and then uh, I waste it. It doesn't even burn the thing down. But now I don't know what to do. Good times. <laughs> good times indeed. It's a good times bonanza. And am I, am I stuck now in the game? I mean, where should I have thrown it? They're showing me that barricade and telling me that it's flammable, and then it's not flammable. We're still trying to go into the basement locker room or something. Where they're supposed to have uh, the code for the, the pistol safe. to do another time travel I think uh, figure out what we have to do here since we're stuck we need to find a fuse as well that is one thing fuse and the pistol now we need to shoot the pipes and then the other part of the hospital is gonna open the fuse will open those two doors to the theater and uh, the the other place for now i'm lost again so let's just time travel to when uh, when we found what to do we found the place one two and bam here we are turns out i had to go downstairs again storage there we go now we can open uh, yes Okay, that's the outside. Oh. And everybody was kung fu fighting. There's nothing in it. Oh. I got the... Hi, Dan. <clears throat> if you're here, you must... Stop this crap. If you're here, you must have seen my notes. Nobody else would be stupid enough to come in here. The safe in Office 1, there is a gun. The code is... What is this maddening noise? The code is... BAM! 1287. Don't go into theater without it. Oh, wait, there's something in this shelf here. Hang on, hang on. What is this? Oh, oh it's a ginger beer. Oh. Nice. Cheers. Mm. There we go. Almost spilled over. Mmm. Very uh, gingery. All right. Okay, so this concludes uh, this game here. We're done. I'm just gonna enjoy my beer and uh, play some uh, stranded, some chill, you know, uh, <laughs> settlement simulation game. Yeah. Now I have to go out there. Yeah. And of course I have to go out there. <clears throat> I heard something out there. Get out of here! 
I can't see anything. Why doesn't he die? Music's over, that means they're dead. Whew. Now, where the, where do I... Here, this way. Okay, we got the fuse. <clears throat> and I'm starting to sweat and... Uh, I'm starting to sweat the bullets again. Starting sweating bullets. Um... There is no way to see our health. Confirm. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Let's close it again. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, this is a... Uh... Where we have to go? Wait, there's something on the other side. You know what? I'm just gonna stay here and watch what happens. Good, we're fine. <clears throat> fine and dandy. Theater? And... Uh, what's this way? Oh, I think I'm gonna enjoy this game once it's out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Close it again and never go in. <laughs> uh, I hate it. We need an ID card. So which way should we go? Oh, danger. We got three danger signs over there. That has to be a good thing, right? It has to be a good sign? No? <laughs> yeah, usually it isn't. All right, we're gonna go in there, then the door is gonna close, and it's going to be regretty spaghetti time. You just watch. Okay, so... <clears throat> the blood doesn't look good. The blood job needs to be better. It was like uh, the guy, there's a story that Mr. Ballen tells you. He's a YouTuber. He always tells uh, stories of, uh, I forgot it, the the, we, the, mis the, no, the dark and the mysterious or something. And there was one guy who, uh, I think he was the richest man in the world at that time, which was uh, maybe a hundred years ago or something, or maybe a little bit less, maybe 80 years ago, in the 30s, maybe 40s or something. Oh, an axe. And then he fell from the bed in a train, sleeping compartment. And uh, his back hurt or something, and he got a medicine from the doctor. A new medicine, which was called ra radi radiator or something. And it was radioactive. They didn't know what radioactivity did, I think. Or maybe they did, I'm not sure. And he took the medicine, and he felt better and better, and then he, he took way too much way much than way way more than he should have taken right and he was the richest man in the world i think or one of the richest he could have he could have had anything in the world but then instead of that one day his jaw just fell off <laughs> yeah it just fell off so radioactivity makes you feel really good and then poof. <laughs> yeah and then he went to the hospital and uh, shortly thereafter he died because his cells would not regenerate. That's what radioactivity does to you. 
So yeah, I was thinking of uh, of that guy here. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> uh, old buddy, old pal, huh? Okay, and now I've postponed it long enough. Of course. Okay, it seems to kill him faster than... Uh, than the crowbar, but we lost the crowbar. We can pick it up again. Okay, so that's cool. Goodbye, Mr. Jawman. <laughs> yeah. See you never, hopefully. Mr. Jawman. And we're going to the theater. The theater of operations. So the wait this is the waiting room. The people in the rubble they're gonna be waiting forever. <laughs> I made another funny. What is this? Another crowbar? I don't want that. I'm keeping the axe, thank you. Damn it! They just closed the door behind me. Son of a witch. Yeah, this that's, uh, this can't be a good thing. She's still here. This looks like a boss fight arena. <laughs> MCG. No, no. This pop-up stuff is so annoying. Health is already full, and then it just stops the game. And then when I... I don't know what happens. Maybe, you know, it's cut the developer some slack. Maybe they didn't do the animation of healing yourself, and it just happens without you noticing. No, we still got two health kits equipped. And we got hit a couple of times. Why is our health still full? I don't get it. Health is already full if I hit one. Or maybe we can't die in this tutorial. They didn't have a safe or anything. I mean, I don't know who, how they clobbered this together. How complete the game is, but it seems that the game is going to take a while to complete. Until next year, which is going to be, I'm going to say at least a year. So it might be in a very early, early? It might be in a very early stage. Oh wait, uh... Where did we need? Here? Oh, it's a computer. The director wanted to build a new containment facility under the hospital for a reason. We have and always will have the best means of dealing with anomalous entities and people. Stop complaining and do your job. This is more than a hospital now. Control panel. Yeah, this is exactly where I want to go. Into the contaminated area. Because why wouldn't I go where it's worse? We still don't have to go. G 
get the gun. Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. You, you buffoon. I'm a buffoon. <laughs> uh, get the gun. Yeah, I need to get the gun. Of course, it doesn't continue up here. We need to go get the gun and then go back down. Wow, I almost moved on without it. You know it would have been your fault, right? I mean, that's just a no-brainer. Wasn't the gun here? Where is the safe? Oh, we're, we're on one battery. Okay, we might as well let this run out, put the new one in. Where's the gun? Wasn't it like in that part of the hallway? Here? Where's this damn safe? Wasn't it in the beginning? Oh my god, I have to do a time travel again. Unless... I don't think I remember wrong. Must have been one of these rooms. Not this one, it was a small room. Stop with the turning like an idiot. <laughs> Here? Yes. Okay, you remember the code? No? Oh, you forgot it already. <laughs> what a buffoon. One, two, eight, nine. I mean, I was just kidding. It's, uh, of course, it's, um... Didn't I just do the same code twice? Guns and ammo are scarce in the UK. Be wary of how much you shoot. The UK and the United Kingdom? And remember to keep count. You don't want to hear nothing but a click in the middle of a fight. Yeah, remember that. If you're in a zombie apocalypse, you need to be in Texas or something so you can find ammo everywhere. Otherwise, well... <laughs> I mean, let's face it, the guns aren't that great against zombies. You go into a city and you shot a couple of shots. Shoot a couple of shots. Good luck with a hundred thousand zombies. I don't think you're gonna have the bullet, Texas or not. Alright, I got the gun. Uh, the mouse wheel switches to the axe. Okay. I'm not gonna go down without five fights. I'm gonna fuck. I mean, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna put health kits on all the quick buttons. How did I never take damage during the boss fight? So is this supposed to be a melee-centric game? <clears throat> HSEC memo. Since the witch got out due to human error, we have installed a new traffic light system. The color codes are as follows. It has been redesigned to be very easy to understand. Color code, green. I'm gonna take another snapshot here. Um, what does it say? Green, locked and vacant. Amber, locked and occupied. Red, unlocked. So we're gonna come across some... Uh-huh, there we go. Some cells. Green, locked and vacant. That's what we want to see. We want to see the green light. We don't want to see amber. Amber. 
Wait, Ember is locked and occupied. No, red is bad. Ember, Ember means it's probably gonna open when we walk past it, as it usually goes in these games. What are those rocks? This doesn't make any sense. How, how did they make this metal structure into this rock? It looks like the rock grew up, grew up on it. Which means then it's not rock, and it's something else, because our rock doesn't do that. Red unlocked. <clears throat> okay, let's close the door and end the game. <laughs> A07. Oh, this is where the witch was. Witches are an absolute pain in the A to keep secured because of their ability to teleport. Do not open the viewing hole. If she can see a point in space, she can move there. And they opened the viewing hole. <laughs> uh, the witch has been sedated and moved to theater for study. She will be back in her cell by Friday. The director will be personally overseeing this process. Emma. Uh, we don't need, do we need, maybe we need those numbers. Who knows. I'm gonna take a schnappy of it. Schnip schnappy. Uh, seven green. Should be nobody in it. Green. I don't know why I'm doing this. A5. Sleeper. Probably the most dangerous anomaly we have with us right now. Sleepers are rare and hibernate in their pods most of the time. However, if disturbed, they are brutal. It takes some serious firepower to kill. This one will remain in hibernation as long as it's not disturbed. Director's approval is required to study it, but moving it in its is not recommended and highly... Shit. And the cell is open, of course. And it's, it left. Great, are we lucky today? Let's do the other side. <clears throat> that one is making one hell of a rucus. Another fuse. Feeler. This one was picked up just outside Hanwell after the Ministry dropped the bombs. <clears throat> we call them feelers because they are blind and deaf and feel vibrations through the ground and air. They are extremely dangerous. If you come across one of these, alert the Ministry ASAP. Got the breasts. You wanna come feel me up? <laughs> no, thank you. Good night, Shug. Sugar buns. We just have to make sure we don't open one with a witch inside. Then we're gonna get instantly into another uh, boss or mini boss fight. What is this darkness here? I I hate it here. <laughs> there should be nothing in here. Should be nothing. Oh, they're they're making noises from above. Is that the sleeper? So the sleeper, we're gonna use the gun. We have been warned, they take lots of firepower. Yeah, there's what? There's, oh, there's one in here. Not much is no, oh, it 
is not about this one. We don't really know what to call it, so we just refer to it as it. We don't know its true form either. It seems to look like someone specific to you. What you see will be different to what others see, and it will change each time you see it. It moves very slowly towards its target. If it chooses you, it will not stop until it reaches you. This is the only known specimen in the world. Just as well, I heard stories of the condition people have been found in after encountering this thing. Better to just leave this one alone. Okay, I think we better not look at it. <laughs> oh, is that? It looks like a clown, huh? I don't think that's healthy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Old buddy, old pal. He's play being, playing his favorite game again, smashing his head against the wall until blood flies everywhere. Burner. The oldest type of anomaly. These things are everywhere and don't usually pose too much of a risk by themselves. If you come across a group of them, though, be careful. Standard anomaly. Anomaly. <laughs> anomaly. Nothing much to say about them. They are called burners due to their burnt appearance. These are the ones that we fought before, aren't they? Okay, we did uh, all the rooms downstairs. Now it's time to go up and then instantly regret it. Um... <clears throat> The anomaly is waiting for us. Okay, so we need more fuses, huh? Sixty three ampere. Okay, there we have. Oh, no. I hope all the lights are green here. And of course we're gonna look into every one of them. I wanna see how the monsters look. Even if it kills us. This is not the actual game. <laughs> the actual game comes up next comes out next year, so. Whatever happens, happens. And this is supposed to be not very long. Maybe one to two hours, so... It ends however it ends. Okay, we can he still hear uh, it. Oh! Then everybody was Kung Fu! Fighting! shooby dooby dooby doo A little kung fu kick can never hurt anyone. And these, we need three fuses to just oh, <laughs> to open one door. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You have a fuse box with three fuses for one single door. And otherwise, you got lights everywhere, so that that has power, right? There, there's get does things have power? Is this a box? No. This looks like a gray door where you want to be in the center when it closes. And then there'll be like two of you. Alright, uh, green room. I don't know where the sleeper is, it's gotta be somewhere. It left, maybe it's in the next room. Pistol ammo. Mimic. Mimics can look like anything. They're not particularly dangerous, but they can usually hunt in packs and can be quite troublesome. They have the ability to shapeshift and can look like almost any household. <laughs> any household item. <clears throat> Why they decide to default to giant spiders has thus far eluded us. You can usually tell they are around by the high-pitched squeal they make. If you hear it, trust nothing. There is nothing worse than a kicking a ball only to find out only for it to explode into a giant, disgusting insect. 
something that looks like it doesn't belong is also usually a sign you're looking for or at a mimic. Oh, it's a spider. Oh, there's multiple mimics, right? The traffic cone is a mimic. The box is a mimic. Plant is a mimic. Is that a ball? No, I don't know. Can't tell what the last thing is in the back. Oh, it's also it's another it's two spiders. Okay. Two cutie patooties. We gotta find the last fuse. Here. Oh, we got a bunch more rims. They're all empty. Well, 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 if this isn't the wrong side of the rim. <sighs> and it, you couldn't possibly leap over here and... Oh! Oh, you can... Oh! The game is cheating, okay. The invisible wall. Last fuse, go. Lots of bullets. Hot diggity dog. What is the game trying to tell me? Definitely not that there's going to be more combat, right? Mail. <clears throat> Escape conti contingency. Taylor, since you... Uh, since you've got... What? Since Dave got you running containment alone, I've built an escape contingency override in your terminal. I've had to resort to a very hacky solution, so it isn't perfect, but you can open the escape door from this terminal. The problem is I've managed to do this by bypassing the power management system for a few seconds. Doing this will also unlock all the other doors in the facility and probably kill the main light, so... <laughs> <laughs> so if you need to use it, you better dash for the door and keep a few glow sticks handy. Gosh darn. He's, uh, oh, he's glowing. Okay, it's, it's, he's not throwing it uh, somewhere. Okay, let's do it quickly. Oh, I'm wasting time. Wasting time. Let's not go past it. It is on the left side. Ah! Oh! Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Okay. I came through. <laughs> Here's another another knickle stick. Another knick knack. Ein knicklicht. So you call them in, in German, uh Knicken is like I can't leave. Wasn't I going this way? They won't let me go this way. Oh, did I did I already go through it? Oh, that's it. Okay. 
So that was Beyond Hanwell. The Great Hallamshire. We'll be seeing this game. And thank you for, uh, for the loudness. So we'll be seeing this game again next year. Uh, we got a couple more horror games coming up next month. One of them is going to be really good. I hope. It looks like it's going to be very interesting. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for hanging out. See you in the next video. Goodbye.